I guess the fear on this video, I'm going to share to get the artifact of the clever. But to be honest, I don't know why you would want to, as you can't use it for anything. If we have a look at the obelisk terminal, you can see all the different artifacts the bosses need to spawn. And none of them need the artifact of a clever, so that's why I left it off my how to get all the artifacts video. Alright, let me show you where the entrance is. We've got two trees on the cliff, and then a lake underneath, and a waterfall. And there we are on the top middleish side of the map. Alright, if you go down to this rock, the coordinates 27 by 41, this is where the entrance is. Now, use some bug spray, because there's a lot of insects down there. I'm taking a crossbow and grappling hook, and I hope you like spiders, because there are loads of them down there. And just to kill them quickly, I'm taking a rocket launcher. You can cryo up a creature to kill them if you want, but I'm just going in without to tame. Right, dive down and you see a cave entrance underwater. Go in. Then you come up inside a cave. Make sure everything's loaded. Carry on down the tunnel and you want to keep going right. Opens up into another tunnel with a drop down. Keep going. Then you take the first right. Come past the big crystals. More crystals, remember those, because you'll see them on the way back. And you go into a cave with blue roots, go down to it and you see a red drop. Don't collect it because you'll need it to block the scorpions coming back up. Even though I've got a bug repellent, the scorpions can still see me. So I'm going to go back up and as you can see the red drop blocks them from getting to me. The rest of them are bottlenecked in the cave, so I'm just going to rocket launch them. I wouldn't really use a rocket launcher, I'd just bring a cryo creature to kill them. Right, looks like they're dead, just check. Alright, that's most of them dead. You can finish the rest off with a shotgun. Right, go in, work your way around to right and take a right. Just make sure nothing's coming behind me. Go to the blue roots, follow those down. Come to more flower area. Right, work your way to the right. And you come to a drop off. Now you can use a grappling hook, shoot into the ceiling, hover above and kill everything. Or you can take the left, go down. The bug repellent will stop spiders seeing you. But there are so many that if you try and get past them, they'll aggro you anyway and trap you. So it's best to kill them before you go down. Spiders down here are at like level 250 or more. As you can see, they're pretty tough. You might want to take some stimulant as well. That's quite a few of them. I'll right, back up a bit. Load. Drag them up the tunnel. Okay, should have separated them. Go back down. There you go. Kill one at a time. Go 
go down slowly. It's kind of a good place to form chitin. You can take your cinema crops and it'll eat them. There's another. Right, that's the way to the cliff drop off. Let's just see how many are down there. I'm tempted to hang from a ceiling and shoot down. Let me show you how many you have to clear down the path. Sneaky one hiding there. Number 285. Don't go up. Carry on going down. Right. Let's rocket launch them. Like I say, I wouldn't bother using a rocket launcher. I'm just getting rid of them quickly. Sure the launch is loaded in case I need it. Right, I think I'm okay. When you get to the waterfall at the bottom, work your way to the left and you see an orangey red room. Oh, this rocket launch shows. That's a lot of spiders. Damage them all with a rocket, hopefully. Finish them off with a shotgun. Try not to let them get too close. Make sure there's nothing else behind me. to go down it. Oh, a sneaky one. Playing dead. More in there. Let's rock it. Um. Oh, hit the side. There we go. Need another rocket launcher. She's off. That's a one at a time with a shotgun. Make sure rocket's loaded. Right, you've got a small room to the right, which doesn't go anywhere. It's got a drop in it. And there's the artifact. Right. Are they going to go for me if I get closer? Shall I risk it or not? Or should I just rocket launch them? Mm. Let's rocket launch them, just to be safe. Plus I like blowing stuff up. It's always fun. I think I got most of them. And there's the artifact of a clever. Like I say, I don't know why you want this because you can't activate a boss with it. Maybe take it to another server. But there are easier servers to get the artifact from. Right, work your way back. This time, head right. Get to the water, go up. Oh, 
Oh, he was alive. Follow the blue roots. Get to the blue flower cave. Walk over. There's a red drop. Might as well see what it is. That is junk. I'll just leave it there because it's more use. Blocking the scorpions coming up. Work your way left. Past those crystals. I told you to remember at the start. That's more crystals. Then go left, and in a jungle area, got a ramp on the left. Carry on going left up the ramp. Go in the water. Watch out for piranhas. I've not got any flippers. I don't know if I can get that rock in front of me, so I'm going to go to a bank. Try and out swim the fishes. Yep, nibbled my ass. Right, and there we are at 26 by 41. That's how you get the artifact of a clever. I'll link the videos to get the other artifacts at the end and in the description below. Thanks for watching, please like if it was helpful, click subscribe and become a nooblet if you're not already, and share this video with your friends to help me out on YouTube, click the bell notifications and all, don't forget to check out the other videos at the end. Bye bye!